my last savers video that I probably was not going to be going back to savers well I needed to make myself feel better this morning and I just happens to be a savers here and so we're gonna give it another try I mean I found good stuff last time just their prices are a little on the crazy side but let's go see what we can flip for a profit and I'm going to be picky I say that every time no really this time I'm gonna be picky You'll see. Here we go. So of course the music is insanely loud as we walk in the door. I'm drawn to the cow. I thought it was a soft cow, but no, it is a cow with a broken leg for $10. So we move on. I'm also, as much as I don't like collector plates, I'm really drawn to these because I got to tell you, back in the day, in the 90s, I actually collected this actual set of collector plates one by one and had them all. But I leave them and I see this bone china polar bear who does not have a price tag. So I decide to put him in my cart and see what they will sell him to me for. Now, I got a really nice guy checking me out at the end and he let me have the polar bear for 49 cents. That should have had a pair of salt and pepper shakers with it, but it did not. And so I see this bust and now I wrestle with this a little bit. It's Nelson, something Marvin Nelson and it's Joseph Smith. And, um, you know, sometimes these can do pretty good, but I found one for sale, but no sold. So I'm really glad that I left that on the shelf. I did spot this cute little guy. He is a Holland mold. Holland molds were pretty much craft pieces that greenware that people would then paint. So there's a lot of them out there of different kinds. And some are done really well, others not so much. This one was okay. I did decide to leave it behind. This is a chameleon. Now it's not for resale. Shh, this is for Rachel. I have to be really quiet so she doesn't hear me say that. It'll be a surprise. But the chameleon goes in the cart. It's better than having to buy her a real one. This is Hager. And I was excited until I saw the $24.99 price tag. And I'm sure somebody looked it up and saw that one, you know, for 25 bucks and thought that's what we'll price it at, at Savers, the thrift store. That's supposed to be like lower than retail. I liked this rooster. Now you'll watch me kind of contemplate this guy for a while. He didn't close right. And I kept trying to make him close right. And he just didn't want to close right. Which is why I left him behind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I couldn't do it. I had to leave him behind. I spot this nicely done piece. It's like a colonial scene. And it's only $4.99, and I do have to peel to see if there is a mark on the bottom. And what do you know? It is Limoges. So yes, Limoges will go into my cart. So that one, pricing was right. I kind of always look through the dolls, and I had to just take a peek at the Coca-Cola bottles, which are all fairly contemporary. The glasses are Ikea, so I leave those. 
All right, these are drawing me. I really, I really liked them. No marks on the bottom. <sighs> I really had to wrestle, but at the end of the day, I left them behind. I know, again, I'm sorry. I know somebody out there is mad at me for leaving those behind. Then I spot the little jade tree in the Celadon Glaze pot. And the price is right. So this one does go into my cart. These can sell really well. And then I find this guy. Look at this fish. He's got a nice he's got a nice fish there he's taken home. He is Weatherby. Now he reminded me of the Red Mill. And I was really torn because he was priced a bit on the high side. But I did decide to just stick him in my cart for a while until I had a chance to look up what Weatherby figurines are going for. This is a case I did end up looking up. You know, I touch everything. I have to. That's how I tell quality. These guys were just funny. They reminded me of what, it, what popular in the 80s. Was it the 80s or the 90s? Somebody tell me in the comments. Were those 80s or 90s? The little stocking figurines. I saw this little egg with the birds on it. It just doesn't bring enough for me to pick it up. I would have bought the butterfly had it not been $10.99, but it was $10.99. Oh, that's totally got broken. Oh, it's an odd thing. Destroyed. Nope. Somebody busted it. this 
really interesting piece of art glass. I'm not sure what it's all about, but for $4.99, I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to investigate a little bit. I got to tell you, I'm really shaken right now. I'm really, really disturbed with it, what I just witnessed. And I caught some of it on camera. I, I hope you could tell what was happening there. Literally, the Savers employees are pulling things off the shelf that are perfectly good for resale and throwing them in a trash can versus just lowering the price and 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 making them reasonable i'm i'm kind of beside myself it's really even hard to watch back and edit this video i contemplated just abandoning my cart and walking out at this point i really it really bothered me that much it really did but i will carry on and uh, here are some cute little Williams Sonoma turkey candle holders. And I have some amber glass ones currently listed that have gotten some attention. So I decided to pick up the clear ones as well. Thanksgiving is next month. So it's a good time to sell something like that. I spot this. It is a wine bottle holder. And I kind of looked at I liked it. I liked the look of it. I liked a lot of things about it. I just had to convince myself that, hmm, can I sell this for double, triple the money that I'm going to pay for it? And I decided to, yes, put it in my cart. Thank you. I'm trying to figure out what it was for. CDs, maybe? I don't know. in which I put I'll put the flowers back in it. You know, I'm I'm kind of looking through the vases and I'm I'm sure I probably missed something. Tell me what I missed. Tell me what I missed because I tell you my heart was not into it at this point. I'm looking and looking for something that might pull me and then I do notice on the bottom this is cased glass, and it's got these little thumbprint kind of things going on. I think it's trying to mimic a Carlo Moretti Murano piece, but as you can see, I'm feeling it. And this is the this is the key with glass. You've got to get your hands on it, and you can feel the quality. The quality was not there. It was just a very coarse representation. I don't even know what to say about the way these shelves are just packed with stuff and in in no way that really helps you shop for anything. The gold bar was kind of cool. Um, I was a little bit drawn to this. It looks like somebody's just done some sketching of some deer. Didn't really compel me to buy it. And I'm thinking maybe this might be Nambi, but it is not. And looking, 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 looking. Like I said, I'm sure there's something here. You guys are going to tell me I missed. And I'm okay with that. I really am at a point in my selling, I don't need to grab everything. I'm scanning the art. Now I like to kind of stand back from the art and see what draws me in. Like I thought for a minute this was presidents. It is not presidents and I do not recognize who these men are. 
so I end up putting this back. But that is my criteria for art. What really draws me from a distance? I don't think I have ever seen these shelves so cram-packed with stuff. I was looking for a name on the bottom of the wood bowl. I did not see one. This little angel, it was cute. It was signed. I can't remember what that said on the bottom, darn it. Uh, but still, just really like a 10 to $15 piece. I don't think, I don't think I've ever seen the shelves like this full. And this just goes to like that whole throwing stuff away instead of just lowering the prices and making it so somebody wants to actually buy the stuff. It kind of blows my mind. I'm really ready to start a campaign on Savers Corporate. Anybody want to go in on that with me? I'll start like some kind of a petition to get their attention. Hey, we want to buy stuff. So here they have an entire end cap full of these Funko Pop figurines. These are really collectible. I didn't look up how much these particular ones go for, but generally, as a rule, if you see a ton of things that are the same, it's probably not drawing enough of a price to make it worthwhile. I could be wrong. I could totally be wrong, but that is so not my niche. I didn't want to spend any time on it. It might be your niche. These glasses were so cool, but they'd been run through a dishwasher, completely faded out, so I left those behind. And I'm really just kind of scanning the mugs today. I'm not doing like a deep dive into the mugs. So it's possible I could have missed something. I did really like this kind of Santa Express mug, but it felt kind of like a Target brand kind of thing. So I'm going back looking at the art again, just seeing what calls out to me. See the butterfly on the bottom row? That butterfly called to me and I got it. Plastics, I don't normally find much in the plastics, but they had a real mishmash going here today. So I had to look a little deeper than usual. Now I did spot the apple pitcher, which I thought matched the one that I already had, but this one definitely did not have the quality to it. It was not made in Portugal. It was just kind of a, a knockoff. This was restaurant wear. Restaurant wear has that thicker than normal kind of dinnerware feel. This particular piece does not sell for enough for me to have picked it up, so I did not. This is a stoneware pitcher that was signed on the bottom. I see the 92. I can't quite make out the name. I'm going to have to look a little further into that. It was done well enough that I thought, you know what, this is a piece that I'm going to take because I feel like it could be a good quality piece, at least about a $30 piece. And now I'm scanning, I'm scanning on the dinnerware side. This again is a piece of Polish glass. It was marked made in Poland, but something about, I just, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling the color mixture. I'm, I'm not one that's drawn to like yellows and oranges. So I did leave it behind. I'm more of a blue, green, red kind of gal. I liked this, but for $6.99, I left it behind. I don't know. I'd have probably been like $3.99. It would have gone in my cart, but not $6.99. That piece probably would sell for $15 to $20 is why. Now this end cap did yield something that did get me a little bit excited. This little set here, see how the three of them, they go together. They're all there. Nothing is chipped and they are 
made in California. There, so there are California pottery with roosters, which is super collectible right now. It's flour, sugar. Oh, look, what's going on here? All right, we're gonna fix that. And this makes me feel so much better. I got the happy family back together again. Um, and I don't, flour, sugar, and I don't know what the third one was. Honestly, I'll have to do it on the haul and tell you what the third one was. I did spot that log cabin cookie jar, but I wasn't in the mood to deal with something that large. Now, it is not the McCoy log cabin cookie jar. Just to be clear, it was not that quality. It was something much cheaper than that. I did spot this piece of art glass, this vase, for $2.99. It's good quality. It's actually a, a pretty nice piece. I, I figure I can sell this piece for $20 in my store, so that's why I picked it up. This is Kent Pottery. I could not find a comp on this piece, and it's just not something that I normally deal with, so it wasn't really drawing me to take it home and find out more about it. I liked these little vintage canister pieces. WMG 1987. Um, I have not also been able to find any comps on these particular pieces, but I did find that WMG is really not a brand that sells for much money. And they had the kind of that real cheap kind of paint job. It, and it ships super easy, so I would just wasn't compelled today to pick those up. I thought for a minute those were Tupperware. They were not. They were something else. So they, I left them behind. The Tupperware ones do sell very well. So if you see the Tupperware tumblers, the plastic tumblers, pick those up. People love those still to this day. I'm going through this aisle fairly quickly. Nothing's really calling me this piece. Then I see it's not old. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm through this aisle very quickly. I'm scanning the baggies, looking and seeing if anything is really calling to me. Nothing really called to me this, this time. Okay, here we go again. Um, she is pulling things off and I'm trying to be a little incognito and still trying to show you she's pulling perfectly good merchandise off of the shelf and they're going to go toss it. The stuff that she's pulling off the shelf is going to go into a dumpster, a dumpster. Ah, okay. Lamps. We'll look at the lamps. <laughs> I have to calm down a little bit. Uh, this is a cute little, like a little boudoir lamp with a rose on it. It's not super old. It's not super valuable. Like a $15 to $20 lamp. I'm looking through the furniture because I am not opposed to picking up furniture. If it is vintage and it's a good price and I can resell it. But I didn't really see anything today. And then I go and I also look through the art that they put over in this little separate section over here. I spot this print. It is signed. I can't quite make out. It's 1982. I can't make out the artist. And I'll look at it and like, yeah, it's not really doing anything for me. So I leave it behind today. And I leave this behind as well. I'm just kind of in a bad mood at this point, I gotta tell ya. I did end up with the butterfly, and I got a rug. I did put back the one little guy. But there's, and then I got some jewelry. I gotta go pick up at the jewelry counter, so there it is. Well, that was really disheartening. I just, you know, I love thrifting. I love the thrill of the hunt. But when I catch something like that happening, and I caught it on camera, um, yeah, I can verify. They would rather throw stuff in a dumpster, break it, destroy it, than to lower the price. I think 
I will not be coming back to a Savers anytime soon. Uh, I just, I cannot agree with that policy. I did go ahead and finish my shopping. I really debated uh, just abandoning my card at that point. Um, but I didn't. I went ahead, I finished my shopping, and I did talk to the manager when I was checking out. And I said, look, like, you've got people who will come buy this stuff. You've just got to stop overpricing it. It's not that it's not saleable stuff. It is that the prices are too high. So if you have a savers that is doing the same thing, I encourage you, speak up. Collectively, our voices are powerful. One person alone saying something doesn't do any good. They don't know if you haven't come back. I made it known that I am a big shopper and I won't be coming back because their prices are ridiculous. Um, and that's just the way it is. And it's like, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, it's not fair for them to just, you know, try to make you happy and to buy stuff to resell. But when it's ending up in a dumpster and nobody else is buying it, us resellers are their customer for this stuff. I mean, they've got to, at some point, realize that or just keep their own stuff in the dumpster and losing business. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's very frustrating. But I did spend about $123 there after my 20% off discount. I got some good stuff. I ended up putting some stuff back on the shelf. So I guess I need to do a haul video at some point and actually show you what I bought. Um, I'll get to that. I promise. So now I am going to go home and shake this off and go list so I can at least turn this into some money. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and the little bell, which will notify you when I go live. All right. See you later.